With all the day's events, sometimes I look at the world and I think, oh my gosh, I should just give up. Well, I had an epiphany the other day. If I give up, everybody else might give up, so I better not do that. Instead, we're going to pass the California Cannabis Hemp and Health Initiative, and it's going to run until 2014. We have till this June to get the signatures, so please come on out, volunteer, donate until it feels really good because the money's going to go for our petitioners. We really are doing it. We had 28,000 tweets in an hour. Uh, Ron Paul is 100% behind us, and, and many Obama supporters, and everybody actually, all human beings, are supporting us right now. If you really want to learn who's against us, watch a movie. It's called Secret. S-E-C-R-E-T, Secret. And it will tell you exactly who is in the White House, why they are there, and everything else that you could possibly want to know about the most pure evil on the earth. We are here as a peaceful nation. We come on bended knees and we say, please release our cannabis political prisoners, for they grow for us that need the medicine. For us that need the medicine, that's between my medical doctor and myself. And I know that there's over 100 million of us in America alone that feel that way. In other nations, there's people that are getting the death penalty for having a single joint. So that's why it's very, very important that we let Jack Herrer's, H-E-R-E-R's message, his vision and his dream spread around the world like the growing of the sacred herb that the Creator has given to us for all of our needs. The Jack Herrer Initiative is going to help the environment it's going to give millions of people jobs in green industry. It's ecologically sustainable, biologically safe and sane. The Jack Herrera Initiative is going to allow 21 and over to have it in the privacy of their own homes or in the privacy of a club in the city or town that they live in. The Jack Herrera Initiative is going to take it off of the prohibition altogether, MMJ Cannabis Hemp. The Jack Herrera Initiative is going to set all cannabis political prisoners free upon its passage, the day it passes, reuniting families. The Jack Herrera Initiative is going to give students their loans back that have lost them because of cannabis arrests. We're talking university and college. The Jack Herrera Initiative is going to be the best thing that society has ever seen in our entire lives. Please learn about this initiative. It's going to save our earth. Because we're not going to just take it here in, in California. We're going to spread it around the nation. We're going, we're going viral with this. We're, going to, we're talking to, right now, legislative assembly members to use the verbiage from Jack Herrera's sacred words on his California Cannabis Hemp and Health Initiative to use the verbiage passing in a conventional, in a constitutional convention causing a constitutional amendment so this war could end all, all, all together. We can't count on our congressmen. We can't count on our senators. We believed in Obama. We totally believed in him. I worked on his, I worked on his campaign day and night because I believed in what he had to say. I believed that he believed like I do in the medicine. Well, guess what, Obama? We cannabis without you. As far as I'm concerned, you should be impeached. You lied to the American public. You've started six more illegal wars, and you've taken away our civil liberties, and you've added to the Patriot Act. WTF, Obama? We are not taking it anymore. We're going to end the Fed in this lifetime. We're going we're to continue with the great work of Jack Herrera. You know that Jack died on April 15th? Was he sticking it to the man? You bet he was. He was totally against the IRS. And the IRS tax only goes for wars. And we're allowing Obama and his administration right now to carry on the Bush administration's work because they're related, naturally. <laughs> it's true. A professional genealogist will tell you that. And he has taken Bush's work and he's escalated it. And he's escalated the war on our community. And there's a very dear friend of mine that's sitting in prison right now that needs to be set free, and his name is Eddie Lepp. He is a reverend. He is a Jah Rastafari minister. He would never own a gun or any kind of weapon, and he taught peace, and he's a family man. And he gave to over 70,000 indigent, bedridden patients in the state of California while it was a cooperative, a not-for-profit co not cooperative. He had the tax 
licensed to do it of only 500 members at $500 apiece. I have been to Eddie Lepp's home and I know firsthand that he does not have gold spigots running from his faucets. He used that money, the $500 from the 500 people to run a, a, a farm of about 360, uh, 360 acres. Okay, he, was, he is not a cartel. He is a beautiful individual. It's the only cartels that we have that carry guns and believe in violence are sitting in the White House. Now, I'm looking at Ron Paul right now because he looked right in front of me at Berkeley and, and he believed in medical cannabis. And if he truly believes, like I do, about ending the IRS, then he's the man for us. But really, I think Ed Rosenthal is really the best choice, if you really want my opinion. <laughs> Thank you very much. You love Ed Rosenthal for president.